there it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you for joining me again today. Today I have another project from my May craft kit which I am trying to prove is not just for men. It is obviously for men but it doesn't have to be just for men. So this is the one that I've pre prepared with a more female feel to it. So we've got the powder pink cardstock in the background, one of the softer coloured papers from the wood textures pack uh, and then copper ribbon, a little tag, and I've used the floral from the Wood Words stamp set, which is one of the optionals, optional additions. And then inside I've just put a little thank you, and this is all in soft suede as far as the stamping is concerned. So I'm going to do basically the same card, but with a more male feel to it. So I'm starting again with the smoky slate, and I've cut it long and thin but again it's a, a half sheet of A4 cut in half down the middle and scored so all we need to do is just burnish that edge so that's our basic card then I'm using early espresso card stock for the mat and this is cut at my usual first layer which is five and five eighths by three and seven eighth inches all the measurements are below in the blog post I am in the process of moving my blog so relaunching my blog so fingers crossed everything is working let me know if it's not um, I have chosen one of the still pale but greyer um, papers and I've cut this at my normal second layer so five and a half by three and three quarters the metric will be below so I'm going to make it feel more masculine but I'm going to leave this area clear because we've got this nice knot pattern and instead I'm going to use these three elements from the Woodwards. I'm going to use the same a note for you and the same um, thank you um, but I'm going to use this rather than the floral but other than that it's pretty much going to be the same card. I'm going to use early espresso this time to coordinate with the early espresso mat uh, and I'm going to start with, I'm using an odd selection of blocks, apologies, actually I'm going to start with the star because I want to work from the left and I think that would be a good one to have on the left. So there we go. Then I want the cock, which is a gorgeous kind of proper French cockerel style. Lovely, and they're meant to look um, distressed. And then finally, we'll put our moon, our crescent moon, and that's good. Now there is a little spray of stars, which I think I'm going to pull out as well, and just add a few of those kind of, whoops, around. Um, let's take that off because I can see that's going to be a problem. So we'll just add them and I'm deliberately going to do two generations of ink just by not re-inking. Then don't, don't do what I'm about to do because I know this is going to be covered up. I'm going to stamp on it. Well, not stamp on it, but use it as my protector, because I can. So, and then stamp off and, whoops, come in above and just there. Aren't I naughty? Yeah, so it just fills it in a little bit and gives a bit more sort of, it, it, I, I think it just seats it all a bit better. So, oh, I do need that. No, let's not close that up because I've got a scrap of Whisper White, which is just from cutting my mats. So I'm just going to ink up the A note for you and stamp that. Oops, just there. I'll try doing that again because bouncing your stamp is not a good way of stamping well. That's better. 
now oh i do need that because i need to do it on my inside as well so with the thank you and so it's sort of straight i'm not too fussed if it's not totally straight because it's that sort of jaunty look right i will clean all of those in a moment actually yes no i'll clean them in a moment with my lovely new chamois so all i've got to do now is pop the whole thing together so first things first let's attach our paper to our card using some snail as at filming this fast fuse is still available and i will be using it probably in a moment uh, but we're going to have to get used to it not being around for much longer because at the end of this month it is retiring completely so that's that uh, now I'm going to just flag whoops flag the ends of these just quickly so I'm going to cut there and there let's try doing that straight that's better and just up to the middle and then flag in you can use your triple banner punch if you wish that works really well uh, but for speed and so that your list of items to add to the already brilliant card kit uh, is not too long i say card kit craft box because this all comes from my lovely craft box for may so some of the copper trim and i am using fast fuse for this because it's easier that way so hang on where am i i want to be towards the bottom so i'm going to pop a bit of fast fuse either side and then attach one end of my copper trim and then cut a piece and i'm going to cut it quite long which may sound odd but i am and then i'm going to attach the other end so that it's sort of straight and again i'm going to cut quite a long piece where's my other card gone right because i'm coming here with my knot but i'm going to fray out the ends so i do need the piece of trim to be quite a bit longer than you may think so there's that now tie these together in a knot without pulling too hard that will come back and we'll come back this way a bit so don't pull too hard because it is attached with fast fuse but it is only attached with a small bit of fast fuse so with our three hands can you see what i'm doing more or less let's come up a bit with our three hands because i want that to be reasonably taut there we are i can adjust it if i need to right okay and this is why i said you need this to be longer than you think because when you fray this out it looks stunning but it shrinks dramatically so that was the length pretty much of that or that was the length of that so if i fray this one out as well and literally all you whoops all you do is pull the two sides out it's a tube sort of knitted tube so if you pull it out it just stretches it out then whoops, blow away the little bits and um you are kind of there now uh, i know i had them because i was using them just now can't see my dimensionals for looking at them there we are so a couple of dimensionals whoops on the back of our stamped image oh and i know what i forgot to do that's all right okay so we're going to peel this <laughs> we're going to peel this end off oops i forgot to add something so now this is a bit fiddly i've got one of our little corrugated elements and i'm just going to feed that onto my
onto my piece of trim. Now it worked really well the last time, so it's probably going to be... Oh, no, it's worked. Yay! So just feed that on and then I can reattach my trim, just making sure it is sort of straight, which it is. And I'll just leave that to fly around for the moment. Whilst, let's get rid of that, it's annoying me. So just tuck that so that it's up against the knot. We can play with the um, positioning of the trim so that it's out of the way. And then this I'm going to attach with a glue dot Oops. on the end of my piercing tool. Just pop that on the end, on the back of the corrugated element and tuck that there. And then this piece will just get attached. And I'm going to continue using Fast Fuse. And just carefully pop some over the trim. Doesn't particularly like going over the trim. And then cover up our stamping off. Whoops! Tuck that back under. And then just attach the inside. With some snail. And there we go. So we've got the male version and the female version. And I hope you agree that they are clearly the same card, but this is very much more male and this is very much more female. So don't just think wood textures and men. Um, if you would like to order the May craft kit and you're in the UK, that would be lovely. It's £20 delivered and it contains £20, slightly over actually, £20 of value of product. So the details for that are in the blog post, which is linked below. Uh, I take payment either by cheque or PayPal or bank transfer. Uh, and what I will do is when you email me to say you want it, I will send you an invoice so you can pop that across to me. The deadlines for all of that are on in the blog post below. Um, so if that's of interest, that would be great. It is a fantastic way of getting your hands on a small selection of products. And I'm really thrilled with this particular month's kit. And people are already ordering it. So get on board and you will get this hopefully very, very early in June. Um, I'm intending to order it before the end of May. Uh, in fact, I'm intending to order it before the end of, well, yeah, by the, by the weekend, the last weekend in May. So that it should be with us, with me, uh, beginning of June. So I can get it all bagged up, boxed up and out to you uh, for early mid-July, well, early July. So it's in time for Father's Day. Yay! And also ahead of the what I think is going to be the mad rush to place orders when the new catalogue launches. So thank you very much indeed for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye!